Father, I thank you for loving the whole world. Thank you for loving the Muslims. And thank you for what you are doing for Muslims to come to know you, Lord. Especially, I thank you for what you're doing in the Persian world, in Iran. Thank you for opening a country, a nation, to the message of the gospel. Thank you for appearing to them in visions, dreams, and miracles, Lord God. Thank you for remembering the promise you gave to Abraham, that those who bless you, they, you will bless them. Lord, thank you for remembering the Cyrus who blessed the Jews. I thank you for visiting Iran and Iranians and Persians in these days. Father, I pray what you have started that you finish, that Iran, according to Jeremiah 49, 38, will become a Christian country, Lord God. And not just a Christian country, I pray that Iran will impact the whole Middle East and the whole world, Lord. I pray you raise up men and women in Iran who love you, who sacrificially serve you, Lord God. I pray you use what you're doing in Iran to transform not just Iran, not just the Persian world, that you will transform the Middle East, Lord. Thank you for starting from Iran. I pray that through Iran, Lord, the walls of Islam will come down and the Muslim captives will be set free, Lord. Thank you for setting Muslim captives free, Lord. And I pray in Jesus' name that you use the Persian and the Iranians, Lord, to take the gospel to all the Arab world, to take it to the whole Middle East and to the whole world. Thank you, Lord. And I pray you wake up your church. Wake up us to in, the, in the West, Lord, that we might see what you are doing, that we might join you, Lord God. I pray you raise up an army in the West who can join you in the Middle East and bring millions of Muslims to Christ, Lord God. Give us your heart, give us your love, and give us your power. In Jesus' name, amen.